So what's going on gas gang? Today we're back with another insane high octane tear up between two straight up crazy creations. Today it's a big power, lightweight, limiter bashing VTEC showdown and it's gonna be sick. So stay tuned and let's get it. Welcome to Officially Gas. Guys, if you're not aware by now, I'm pretty sure you all are. I'm giving away my pride and joy. Can't even believe it. One of the UK's craziest street cars. 1,300 brake horsepower on race fuel. 1,100 brake horsepower on pump fuel. Over 100,000 pounds worth of modifications alone to get it to this state. <laughs> crazy. In fact, I would even go as far as saying one of the craziest cars to hit a UK raffle so far. And for £2.49, it could be yours. If you're worried about taxing, insuring, keeping and running costs, well, we're doing a £100,000 tax-free cash alternative. Guys, don't miss this one. I even know if there's tickets left, but if there is, check the links below, go over to Level Up Giveaways and grab a ticket. Grab two. Tell your mum, tell your auntie, tell everyone. And guys, you could be driving away with this car very, very soon. Let's get back to the video. So welcome back once again to the OG battles where we show up and let our cars do the talking. And today is no different. In one corner, we've got a stripped out, engine swapped and boosted old school Honda. And in the other, we've got a Honda swapped and boosted old school Mini. Both of these cars are now running around five times the power they left the factory with. Welcome to the Wacky Races. And in partnership with Race Logic, we're going to be carrying out two sets of races. First up today, it's a quarter mile roll race. Next up, it's a drag race to the quarter mile. All races are best of three and the V-Box Performance Box Touch will be recording data such as 0 to 60s, quarter mile times and more to give you guys the stats on how these cars perform. Let's get over and meet both cars and their owners. So first up today, welcoming Tony to the battles with his crazy K-swapped 516 brake horsepower inline four turbo Honda Civic EG Coupe built and tuned by Dom at Delano built. So the Coupe is actually still running on a stock K20 A2 engine, but modifications include a Delano built custom Sidewinder manifold, a precision 6262 turbo kit, a Speed Factory vertical float intercooler, a tile 44mm wastegate and tile 50mm blow-off valve, a 3-inch up-pipe and screamer pipe, a ported RBC inlet with 74mm skunk 2 throttle body, 1000cc Bosch EV14 injectors, a Walbro 255 fuel pump, and is tuned on a K-Pro V4 ECU with boost by gear. The EGs run in a mix of RAAA R's at the front and 808 R semi-slick street tyres at the rear and weighs in at a lightweight 952 kg, giving him an insane power to weight ratio of 542 brake horsepower per tonne. The Civic drives its front wheels only via its EP3 Blackline LSD equipped manual gearbox. And he's going to be stepping up against and welcoming back Dan to the battles with his notoriously bonkers 482 brake horsepower B18 swapped inline 4 turbo powered old school mini tuned by JCal and built by a mix of Dan himself, SL Custom Minis and Lee at LF Honda Developments. Modifications include a CSS and forged B18 C4 engine swap, a precision 5431 turbo, skunk two valves and double valve springs, an AEM methanol injection kit, an LF Honda development custom exhaust system and is mapped on a Hondata S300 ECU with boost by gear. So the Mini's running on Avon ZZR semi-slick street tyres all round and weighs in at a super featherweight 770 kg, giving a little ripper an enormous power to weight ratio of 623 brake horsepower per tonne. The Mini also drives its front wheels only via its LSD equipped SB9 manual gearbox. Tony, welcome to the channel. Thank you for having me, mate. Mate, you're up against, it's a bit of a weird one now because I feel like 
you're not the guinea pig, but you know, you're first in a mini, so probably everyone wants you to lose. Like, you know what I mean? In a weird kind of way. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, it's a naughty car, I'm not yeah. gonna lie. It's yeah, a very yeah, yeah. naughty mini. But this is a naughty car. <laughs> this is a very, very naughty it car. It moves out. Exactly, exactly. I've seen the times <clears throat> this thing runs, and it is, it's insane. It's very lightweight too, um, although, you know, size-wise it is uh, quite a bit bigger and definitely still heavier than the mini. Yeah. Um, You've got a bit more power, but power on a day like today, you know, isn't necessarily a good Nothing. thing. Too much power, no. you know. No. Um, how do you reckon it's going to pan out, though? It's going to be who gets traction. Mm -hmm. I think he is running a very small tyre. I've got a definite advantage on the tyre, 100%. We both running boost by gear. It's basically, whoever cars set up the best, I think. Yeah, yeah, like, that's yeah, what yeah. it's going to be. It's going to be a pedal fest. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It'll definitely. be fun. It'll be a it's lot gonna of limit bashing. It's going to be entertaining. There's some limit bashing going on, that's it. <laughs> yeah. Wicked, wicked. Well, look, bro. We're here for the fun of it. You know, I guess on a, a day like today, times ain't really going to be where they need nah, to be. Unfortunately. But um, at least we should still see a fun race. Like, yeah. You know, so, oh, yeah, it'll be fun. Yeah, man. Whatever yeah. happens, bro. Good luck and uh, let's race. Yeah, thank you, man. Wicked. Nice one. Cool. Dan, welcome back to the channel, Thanks, brother. Thanks, Jamie, for having me back. Oh, you're more than welcome. <laughs> I think everyone loves this car as much as I do. And uh, a lot of people have been talking about seeing it on an OG battle. Um, a lot of people don't know, new subscribers, that this has already been on an OG battle. It was the first car to actually first car ever. To ever be on an OG battle, yeah. That's right. Privileged. <laughs> and you actually still hold the fastest Can't zero believe to 60, it. Zero to 60 and quarter mile. <laughs> Top of the leaderboard. For the front wheel drive cars. Yeah. Uh, however, today you're running with more power yeah. and you're running in the wet. Uh, yeah, I told you to hold off on the rain, but I you know, did. I know, <laughs> unfortunately, uh, we've got fog instead. Uh, so it's, uh, yeah, we've got a slightly damp floor. So today, obviously, you're racing a very, very fast EG Coupe, and you didn't want the easy race. We could have done an easy race, yeah. you know, but you didn't want it. So. I said go as high horsepower as you can. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. The way I was thinking is the more horsepower that the other guy has, he's going to wheel spin more, same as me. True, <laughs> so, true, uh, true. Spinning ain't winning. But yeah, this car was built for fun, not for breaking records, but, you know, it's, it's good that it does both. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. And it'll be it'll be good to see what it does today with its new power, but again, yeah. limited probably by. Grip. It's going to be a lot slower. I know. <laughs> it's, like, it's just going to spin, but it's going to be. It's about fun today. Yeah, yeah. exactly, yeah. exactly. So, bro, listen. Whatever happens, in fact, what do you reckon? Do you reckon you're going to take anything today? It's so hard to say. A front-wheel drive car, nearly 500 brake yeah. um, with both of them. It's it's anyone's guess. Yeah, yeah. It's trying not to passes, floor it. Yeah. I think would be the way to win it. Yeah, yeah. Which is completely the opposite of how I run. Or yeah. how my brain works. Yeah, of course, <laughs> so, of course, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's just going to be fun. Okay. It's going to be fun. Cool. Well, listen, bro, whatever happens, uh, we'll enjoy the day and um, yeah, have a good day. So uh, thank you, Jamie. Let's race. Cheers. Cool. And as usual, today we're going to be battling it out for the Sugar Coat Cup and a full set of its ultra effective, super sweet smelling ceramic waterless washes. It's another beautiful day in sunny England with freezing temperatures and zero grip. This should be interesting, to say the least. First up today is the roll races, but before that, let's hear what they sound like. So the roll races work like this. The left car is the pace setting car. The two agree a start speed and the left car sets it. It's then the car on the right's job to make sure he stays by its side. As soon as they hit the start marker, it's go time. Place your bets. Let's go. And after an insane first run down the strip with both lads fighting for grip the whole way, the mighty EG manages to make it to the line first and takes the win by an absolute train length. Let's sign them back up and go again.
And after another limited bashing run down the strip, once again the EG hands Dan and the Mini a big old gaparoni by the finish line. So, taking a look at the data from the runs using the VBOX PVT and the best 100 to 200 kph times achieved from the lads, the EG runs a rapid 100 to 200 kph time given the conditions of 6.52 seconds. Unfortunately, the Mini fails to run over 200 kph during the runs, resulting in no recorded 100 to 200 time. And round one goes to Tony and that mighty EG coupe. Next up is the drag races. They're both on semi-slicks in these damp conditions. This should be fun. Place your bets. And in another sketchy run down the strip, once again the EG makes it to the line first by a bus length. Let's line them back up and see if anything changes. Yeah, Jamie, I'm trying, man. I'm trying! <laughs> And that time, the results get a little bit closer with the Mini closing the gap. However, both lads fluff a gear change. So for science sake, we've decided to let them run one more time. Let's go. Let's go then, baby. And Tony gets right back to normal proceedings, taking the win once again by a train length. And that, my friends, was all she wrote. So let's just take a look at the fastest 0 to 60 and quarter mile times achieved by the pair using a V-Box PBT during the runs. Unsurprisingly, the EG goes fastest, running a quarter mile in 12.93 seconds at a strong speed of 129 miles per hour and drops into eighth position on the board. The Mini crosses the line at around a second slower with a time of 13.88 seconds and a lower trap speed of 114 miles per hour. However, holds on to second position on the board from a previous 
previous battle. Then taking a look over at the fastest 0 to 60 times achieved, once again the EG just proves the slightly faster car, running a time of 5.54 seconds and drops into 15th position on the board. The Mini runs a best time of 6.08 seconds, however holds onto first position on the leaderboard from a previous battle. And all rounds go to Tony and that killer EG. He lifts the Sugarcoat Cup and takes home a full set of their ultra effective, super sweet smelling ceramic waterless washes. Congrats, brother. So today was just one of those random lineups we had to make happen. Unfortunately, we were hampered by poor weather conditions given it's English winter time, but the lads still put on a show. That insane EG, the standout winner today, taking the win in every race and running the faster times. However, we all have to appreciate just how crazy that little mini actually is. Like, it's a mini for God's sake, and actually still holds on to first and second position on the leaderboards from previous battles. Guys, as usual, let me know in the comments which one of these two creations you'd prefer to be out gapping in and why. Also, don't forget you can save 20% off the whole Sugarcoat product range using my unique code OG20. Links for that can be found down below in the description. Go on, treat your car. And if you have enjoyed today's races, if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button and don't miss another battle by smashing that notifications bell. And we'll be back same time, same place with another crazy OG battle. Peace out.